Hey guys, welcome back. Another interesting one for you guys today. This is something a little new to me. Um, we're doing something called an MTU build, which is a multi-dwelling unit, or in this case, it's a multi-business unit. This is one address, but split up down the middle with two, uh, two units. So we're gonna be putting up a uh, one inch called EMT. I've never worked with this stuff before, to be honest. Um, it's more like electrical work, but this is the standard they use for these MTU builds. And uh, we're going to be putting it up here, putting an anchor and a masthead, and bringing it down into a telecom box. So I was just doing kind of a dry fit here. This already has a slight offset, which is uh, probably not too necessary, but we're going right into the top of this. And uh, this, this length is almost perfect to go right up to there. So we're going to put one here and one at that end over there. See how it goes, my first time doing it. So I'm just going to mount this box first so I have a kind of a starting point to go up the wall and uh, give me an opportunity to test out my new M12 SDS drill. I'm super excited about it. It's a lot more handheld with one hand working off a ladder. I just got it in the other day. I'm probably going to be doing a full review on it compared to the, the M18 version but uh, yeah let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just at the truck prepping the mast get put up. It's the straight side, that's the offset side. There we go. Not sure if I need both, but it's on there snug. And now the cable is protected with a plastic edge. Okay, now this can go up. Okay, so I have the offset properly set now. Just about half an inch off the wall, going straight up. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I had someone with a little bit of experience with this come out to kind of just make sure I'm doing it right. And everything's good, except for the fact that I didn't use a watertight uh, connector here which is what this is, it's like a compression fitting. Conduit goes in there, then we crank it until it's tight. And uh, yeah, everything else pretty much the same, except for this part. So I'm just gonna swap this out and then we can continue onwards. I got the anchor put up and uh, then um, probably gonna get this and that put up and then hang the drops. There. And I just got through with the drill right there. So the thing with this project is that we need to create an entry point ready to go. Um, so I misplaced this initially because I'm so used to just having to put the box up and then I realized that no, we have to get in. And then this wall is so thick on the inside. It's brick wide like look at that we're looking at almost i don't know 20 inches so my standard hammer drill bit was just the length of the bricks pretty much right there so in order to get through the rest of it i actually used a wood boring bit and that got me through the rest of the way. Well, it's about that much longer, about six inches longer, and that got me through. So now I'm going to move all of this over, and uh, yeah, that should be fun. I got everything shifted over um, because here the wall was too thick and I couldn't get through into the inside, and I need to make sure I can do that. So the hole is in behind here. I close it up for now. Um, I changed it up and I put the, the watertight connector here. All that's tightened up. Put the brackets up. It's all nice and level. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to duplicate this onto that side over there. And, uh, and then I'll hang the drops. But uh, yeah, so this part's, this part's pretty much done. A little bit of challenge. My first time doing this, so I had to go through some obstacles. I found this scrap pipe at the shop and it already had the offset and it, the length was perfect. 
Um, I'm gonna see if I can get away without using the offset, um, but if not, then I'll, I'll do a little offset. I've never done it before, so that might be interesting. But uh, for now, this is all done. I'm gonna vacuum and wipe this up. But yeah, so let's check out the other side. I'm gonna do a little test fit here to see how the non-offset will look. Oh, honestly, it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm just prepping the secondary mast for that side over there. Got my ladder over there. Um, I was gonna do the offset, but I realized I grabbed the wrong uh, the wrong bender. This is for a three quarter inch. The car is really in my way. hoping to place it there but my issue at this point is entry point into the building from here so I'm gonna go inside and take a look okay so I have quite a dilemma um, the entry point that I measured to be right into the building would be pretty much around here maybe even closer around there so that's obviously not going to work. You have to keep this at working height. So this is technically an interior building because it's all walled off. So my plan is to do something like this. Go mast there. And then I'm going to go something like that. So far I've been really liking this M12 um, hammer drill SDS plus. It's, it's working really good. It's very light. Okay, beautiful. Almost ready to run the drops. Okay, so my plan is to use this elbow right into there. Got this marked out, let's hope. Okay, that's it done there. I don't know why it looks so crooked, but should be level. Yeah, so the wall is crooked. But yeah, so we got that one inch conduit there that creates a path inside, because if not, I would have had to bring the box all the way around here, and that just wouldn't work. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna just have to remove this and then drill a hole all the way through. It's just enough to fit this for now, but uh, yeah, looking good. So lucky for me, I was right by a ramen spot. So just gonna, a little bit of a uh, pork. So I can pour this with one hand. Mm, smells good. Gotta love working downtown, then back alley. Finally ready to start the aerial portion. Better try to hurry up. People in this back alley are not friendly. in there. Okay. 
pretty much maxed out. Okay, this is a fucking mess. We're going port four. Let's take a look. We got this one in port six. Lens filters. Shitty mistake by not wrapping these over. But should be easy fixed. I'm gonna focus on this for now. Okay, I'm just gonna go down, grab the spools, and get them orientated. Okay, I got uh, both the drops hung up there, and I uh, just need to take some pictures here. Make it to the mid span and uh, we're off. Remember, opening of the clamp, it's always away from the slack. Sorry, towards the slack. the second mid span. Uh, need a drop tightened up. You can see that. <laughs> Not my ladder. I'm tightening the drop. Some people have asked why I don't put my hooks tight onto the strand and I will in certain situations but in ones where I feel confident in the ladder and the fact that it's not going to fall over, then I keep it upright because sometimes I need to move side to side a little bit. It gives me a little bit of clearance, maybe I need a little bit of room this way, right? So I can move it around. If I'm tight on here, there's a lot more friction and it doesn't allow for that. Okay, so now we're doing our loop. Get our hanger. Just in case, Let's see what you guys can see there. So we're done on the, the strand. Just gonna attach to each side, bring it down the thing, and then we gotta sort of bring it down the EMT conduit and uh, splice it. Just gotta here. again both horns. Slack. Okay. Down the condo we go. So I want to make sure. Hope this thing fits. I'm happy with that. That should be okay. Oh, 
over at the, the second unit now. It's very windy, so I'm sorry if the audio is bad. I might just voice over. Pretty much the same as the other side. Let's see you at the bottom. Right Turns out I had to splice both. Okay, so just finished these last two connectors. Beauty. Beauty. Yes, I know they're different. They're the only bulkheads I have. But uh, here we are. Beautiful. Okay, so there we go. We have the drop hung up on the anchor. We got the drip loop and then we have it tagged with all the information. The only thing left to do here inside the nib is with the label maker, I have to pretty much duplicate that information and put it in there. So the, I'm just gonna do that afterwards. But uh, yeah, this is um, MDU build but i really appreciate you guys watching and uh yeah let me know what you guys think below thanks